In this video series, we're going to be making a hybrid pen uh, in the sense that it's going to be a hybrid pen. We're going to be using a kit and we're going to be using some bespoke pen turning techniques. So the bottom end is going to be a kit pen, which is going to be a 50 caliber uh, bottle opener uh, kit. The kit we're going to be using is a 50 caliber bottle opener from uh, PSI. And the reason I'm using a kit is because of one, um, these are relatively inexpensive and they have a connector, which is a little collet adapter um, that comes with this, being that I do not have a metal lathe. Uh, I cannot make the collet adapter. So um, when I tried making just a 50 caliber cartridge bottle opener itself, it's okay, but it's not as clean as the machined one that you can purchase. So I want something that looks good. And besides, um, I really like the 50 caliber cartridges and I like fountain pens. So the other part is that we're gonna be using a uh, bespoke pen turning and we're going to combine both of these that you can see here so we have the 50 caliber cartridge bottle opener on the bottom and the fountain pen on top so um, in this video we're going to be making the converter section uh, that joins the section to the collet into the body so stay tuned and this will make more sense as we go along. Okay, so at the lathe, I've got a piece of ebonite in here. I've got it dimpled to hold the live center to keep that straight. I'm gonna turn this down to 14 millimeters by half an inch for the triple star threads. And then I'm gonna step that down after 1 8th of an inch to 25 64 and that's going to be the adapter part that's going to screw into the collar. So I'm using my triple start tap here to, uh, to get my measurement. Okay, now that's locked in off of that, so I know my diameter here. So now what we need to do is cut our threads here. This is the same size for the section. And then after we cut this, then we can drill it out, drill it out on the front, and then cut the threads on the inside for the section also. And okay, put some mineral oil on that already. You can see that dripping. And then we'll just knock that right there. And cut those threads. Get that off there. Let's put a pair of channel locks on there to backspin that off. Okay, just need to clean up those threads so that that'll seat properly. So let's put that back in. 
this I'm just using my thin parting tool to take that back. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, so now that we have the basic shape of our connection piece, we still need to drill it out. And let's take out the brass cartridge here where we have that insert. And that's going to screw in here like that. And you can see how that's relieved on the bottom for the threads where the cap is going to be. Like I said, we still need to drill and tap that out. We're going to drill that with the 2360 force. And this is a 2560 force. So we only need to go down about 3 eighths of an inch or to where those threads are, you know, or so. And then um, I'll drill it out a little bit smaller, step it down after that. Okay, I'm marked here for 3 eighths of an inch, so we'll go ahead and drill that out now. And speed down. Okay, so this is the type of uh, converter I'm going to be using. It's a Schmidt uh, refill. And this is only nine thirty seconds of an inch uh, diameter and uh, but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna drill drill out the, the rest of the depth to five sixteenths that way I have a little bit of wiggle room on the inside to play with but I still have enough meat left on that tenon on the back side so we'll just finish that out See that's drilled and then this is basically the same shape inside and out for the section so this is going to be like a section within a section if you will so I still need to thread that inside part but you can see the threads they didn't get damaged thankfully and then that will fit inside of there let me do it from the other side though because it's still a little bit too big for here but Even though this is the, uh, the inside diameter, we'll fit this right here like this for the, uh, for the section. This is still a little tight for the metal, but it's still okay for the plastic. So when I get the section in there, uh, that will fit nice. So the next thing we're just going to do is cut the threads on the inside of that. Okay, so I'm using a 10 by 0.75 to cut those threads on the inside. And you can see that spinning on me, unfortunately. I think I smoked those threads. So I'm just going to have to try and keep it lined up and beat it by my fingers. It's going to hitting this. Camera. Okay, that's threaded on the inside, kind of hard to see, um, but it's in there. It's threaded bottom, side, and inside, and to test that out, I have a section that I made for a different pen, same setup. So I haven't made this section yet, but you get the basic idea. Right here, we'll screw that in. And uh, there we go. So now, next video, we'll just make the cap. We'll see you there. Thanks for watching.